Hello friends, we are in the news section of Transfer News. Do not forget to subscribe before proceeding to the video. 98% of our viewers have not subscribed to our channel. Please take 2 seconds and subscribe. Enjoy watching. Kylian Mbappe's mother and agent has said that the striker would have accepted a 10 billion euro salary from Paris Saint-Germain had it been on offer. Mbappe became one of the highest paid athletes when he agreed to snub an offer from Real Madrid and accept a salary worth a reported 72 million euros to extend his contract at PSG in 2022. The 25-year-old's representative, Faisal Lamari, defended their demands for the highest possible salary from the French giants. The 25-year-old's future is once again the subject of speculation. After refusing to trigger the option to extend his contract at PSG to 2025, the forward can leave the club in a free transfer at the end of the season. Real Madrid are still eager to sign him and Mbappe's camp had to put out a statement denying reports that he has already reached an agreement to join the Spanish club. Meanwhile, Liverpool are also interested in signing him and PSG hope to convince him to stay. Jadon Sancho is all smiles again at Borussia Dortmund, with a loan from Manchester United allowing him to end a four-month first-team training exile. The England international winger was dropped by the Red Devils early in the 2023-24 campaign as Eric Ten Hag began to ask questions of his attitude and application. It was reported from mid-September that Sancho had been banished from the senior setup in Manchester and was having to make use of United's academy facilities. It quickly became apparent that the 23-year-old forward would require a January transfer in order to get his career back on track, with his former employers at Dortmund happy to throw open their doors once more. A deal through to the end of the season, which includes no purchase option, has been put in place. Chelsea's defender Jadon Sancho, who was sent on loan to Borussia Dortmund by Chelsea, was joined by Ian Matson, who signed a new contract until 2026. The 21-year-old was struggling to nail down a starting berth under Mauricio Pochettino at Stamford Bridge and has hence opted for greener pastures to get regular minutes on the pitch. The deal with Dortmund has no buy option which means that the player will return to London at the end of the 2023-24 campaign. Dortmund will pay a £2 million loan fee as part of the agreement. His fresh contract incorporates a release clause, with Chelsea aiming for Matson's value to rise during his time at Dortmund so that they can fetch a significant transfer fee by selling him off. Ahmad Diallo appears to have ruled out a January move away from Manchester United when making an always-present claim at Old Trafford. The Ivory Coast international, who will not be taking part in the 2024 Africa Cup of Nations on home soil, has seen another loan switch speculated on with the January transfer window now open. There has been talk of him returning to the championship, having caught the eye at that level last season with Sunderland. Ahmad has, however, worked hard to recover from a serious knee injury suffered during preseason and remains determined to make his mark in Manchester. He has told United Review, Now I've come in with more belief and with the desire to help the team as I've always wanted to do, and I want to continue on this path. Whenever the coach calls me up or sends me on the pitch, I want to be always present to help the team. Chelsea and Burnley have reached an agreement over a deal that will see David Detro Fofana join the Clarets on loan from the Stamford Bridge Club. The striker will spend the rest of the season at Turf Moor as the two teams have an agreement in place, Fabrizio Romano reports. A medical is scheduled to take place on Saturday before he completes the temporary switch, which does not include an option for Burnley to buy him outright this summer. Atlanta United superstar Thiago Almada has been linked with a shock move to La Liga side Atletico Madrid this January. Thursday that the MLS midfielder was attracting interest from Diego Simeone and company, with him being touted as a possible replacement for the potentially exiting Angel Korea. Almada is reportedly very high on the list of the club. The journalist wrote on Twitter, Tiago Almada is one of the top names on Atletico Madrid list in case Angel Korea will leave the club. Al Etihad will approach Atleti for Korea and Tiago Almada has always been appreciated by Atleti. His name is very high on clubs list. Real Madrid have identified their Kylian Mbappe transfer alternative as they consider a move for Napoli star Victor Osimhen. The Mbappe transfer saga has reportedly led to an internal war at Real Madrid as some of their board members are voicing their opinion against signing the forward. The mercurial Frenchman, who has been linked with a move to the Spanish giants for a long time now, has entered the final six months of his contract at Paris Saint-Germain and is now open to hold transfer talks with clubs outside France. Some of the senior board members of Los Blancos believe that Napoli talisman Osimhen is more suited to the club's style of play. It has to be noted that the Nigerian forward's current release clause is €130 million Euros after he signed a new Napoli contract last month. Premier League giants Chelsea and Arsenal are also keeping tabs on the 25-year-old, although if an offer arrives from Los Blancos, he may opt to move to Spain next season.
Barcelona sporting director Deco was reportedly expecting a summer bid from Bayern Munich for star centre-back Ronaldo Araujo. The Bavarians reportedly hold a long-standing interest in Araujo, who has become indispensable for Xavi at Barcelona. And although he has ruled out a winter move, the Blagrana are preparing for the likelihood of a 100 million euro summer bid. Xavi may be reluctant to sell but the Blagrana are still in financial trouble. Joan Laporta's famous levers alleviated some stress last summer, but a company failing to meet a deadline leaves the Catalan club 40 million euro short on promised funds. West Ham could test Feyenoord's resolve as the Premier League side have their eye on Mexico striker Santiago Jimenez, according to a report. The hitman has been in excellent form for Feyenoord since joining from Cruz Azul in 2022. He has scored a whopping 18 goals in 16 appearances in the Eredivisie this season and 43 in 67 in total for the Dutch side. Jimenez has caught the attention of several teams and the Times claims West Ham could make a move for him. Eric Ten Hag may attempt to lure another one of his former Ajax players to Manchester United as he targets striker Brian Bravi, a report says. Ten Hag is looking at options to boost his team's attack in the summer transfer window and sees the 21-year-old as a possible target. The Dutch coach gave Bravi his senior debut at Ajax before the forward left for Leipzig in a free transfer, only to return to the Dutch Giants on loan before completing a permanent transfer back to Amsterdam. United hope to bring in a new forward in the January window to compete with Rasmus Hodgland but do not have the funds to sign Brabby this month. Anthony Marshall is expected to leave Old Trafford in the summer window, freeing up a place and possibly funds to bring in Brabby. Chelsea's transfer pursuit of Paulo Dybala could be delayed after the player suffered an injury in Roma's Coppa Italia quarter-final. The Blues, who were keen on signing the World Cup-winning Argentina star in the January transfer window to bolster their attack, could now face a delay in their pursuit of the player after he picked up a muscular injury during AS Roma's Coppa Italia quarter-final clash against Lazio on Wednesday. Jose Mourinho was forced to take his star attacker off at halftime which proved to be a massive blow to the team as they eventually went down 1-0 against their rivals and were knocked out of the competition. This will surely force the Blues to cool off their interest in the player for now. They were planning to complete his transfer by the middle of this month. Paris Saint-Germain have seen their chances of signing Bruno Gamara's increase after Newcastle posted immense financial losses last year. The Parisians have reportedly made Gamara's their top target for January and hope to seize a key player from Eddie Howe's side. It has been suggested that Gamares has a £100 million release clause in his contract. What once appeared an unlikely move this winter could become reality, with Newcastle's financial losses leaving them open to selling key players. Arsenal missed out on the Brighton man, whose transfer fee was ultimately €116 million Euros, but that could prove something of a blessing in disguise as they close in on Real Sociedad's Martin Zubimendi. The Gunners are willing to trigger the player's €60 million Euro release clause to get the deal done, albeit with a caveat that the deal could be delayed until the summer. There was understandable disappointment at the Emirates as Caicedo followed the path trodden by Mikhailo Mudrik to move to Chelsea instead of Arsenal last January. Yet the way the pieces are falling into place for Arteta's side now suggests this was a blessing in disguise. Lille forward Jonathan David has been told which club to join following transfer interest from Manchester United and Aston Villa. The Canada international, 23, has been one of League One's primary marksmen since he joined Lille from Gent in 2020, and he is now wanted by two of the Premier League's biggest clubs. Manchester United and Aston Villa are both keeping tabs on David's progress in France, as exclusively. Interest from both clubs will come as little surprise given David's goal record at Lille. The Canadian has 36 goals since the start of last season and looks primed for a move to the Premier League. When it comes to choosing a move to Old Trafford or Villa Park, former LA Galaxy and United States of America striker Hercules Gomez believes David's decision is easy. Germany legend Lothar Matthaus has compared one of Chelsea's new youngsters to Bayern Munich superstar Alfonso Davies. Davies, 23, is widely regarded as one of the best left-backs in world football and he has been heavily linked with a move to Real Madrid ahead of the 2024 summer transfer window. In fact, some reports have suggested that Los Blancos have asked him to reject a new contract at Bayern in order to ensure Real Madrid are able to fund a move this summer. Davies currently has 18 months left on his existing deal at the Allianz Arena and Carlo Ancelotti's side are desperate to sign him as they look to sign an upgrade on Ferlin Mendy.